Howdy everyone, this is another Rogue Review. Um, walking outside of AMC right now. Um, just finished The Batman. Um, we'll have some little bit of thoughts behind it because I don't want to spoil anything right now for people around. So this is just impressions. I saw a lot of the spirit in it and especially year one Batman and a little bit of Rorschach going on. The action was great. The cinematography, the set design and the score were amazing. And I actually bought Mr. Sparkly as Batman, which I wouldn't think about, but Bruce Wayne was an underserved character in this. Besides that, um, I think go see it or wait for HBO Max. Oh, so, a little bit further reaction to the Batman. Um, breaking it down a little bit, there was definitely some elements that were intriguing to me. I'm going to think I'm going to stew on it for a little bit, but I am going to plan to do an in-depth review. I really enjoyed the film. So right there, I really did enjoy the film. It was long. There was a lot that could have been trimmed out. Um, some establishing shots and stuff like that. So things that could have been shortened a wee bit. At almost three hours, I don't know if it deserved that three hours. Um, it had a noir feel, of course. And like I said, that that set design, the locations, everything there was gorgeous. It, it felt vibrant and grimy at the same time for Gotham. Um, casting was amazing. I really did like Pattinson as Batman and the voice, such a great Batman voice. There is some, um, let's say some messaging in it that's interesting to me. And I think I'll discuss that with other people before I put it down to thought. But I will say um, as a score right now for a review, just as a score, I would give this about a 7.5. And as for how I rank Pattinson as Batman, um, Keaton's the GOAT, live action-wise. So Keaton, Bale, Affleck, Pattinson. Um, no offense, Kilmer, Clooney. And, uh, yeah. So I hope you like this little rogue review. Um, and don't be afraid to be the fool. Have fun.